Alright, how's it going everyone? This is Jabber1008, and tonight we're going to be continuing our Brandenburg playthrough where we're going to try and form Prussia, and then we're going to try and form Germany. Um, we left off conquering much of the Teutonic Order's land. Um, we tried to take it before Poland would. We used to be allied with Poland, but they rivaled us, and as you can see, relations are in the tank now. Um, we were, we are still allied with Saxony. Uh, we also, oh, we used to be allied with Mecklenburg. I think I might have went to war with them. I'm trying to remember now. It's been a couple few days. Um, we pretty much have everything we need to form Prussia. The only thing we're missing is Protestant religion uh, or reformed. Um, it hasn't happened yet. The reformed desire is getting up there. Let's see. I think it was over 50%. Oh, 60%. So, it should happen, you know, sooner or later. We'll see if it happens tonight. Um, hopefully, you know, the Reformation will start to happen and we'll be able to switch over um, if enough provinces convert. We'll see how it goes, like, what, where the centers of uh, Protestantism and the Reformed are. So, we'll see how that shakes out and see how quickly we can co uh, convert. Uh, if we try and force it, it can be bad. I actually did that when I played this before. Um... If you try and force it, uh, you could have issues, of course. Uh, you lose stability for switching. Um, the route I'm hoping to go is maybe get Protestant rebels and let them force the switch. We'll see how that goes. Um, that might be the goal, though. Uh, so we'll see how that all uh, works out, and we can get started. Oh. Instantly we have some stuff to do. Let's see bunch of rivals announced. The other thing is we did go to war with Bohemia um, and took two of the Silesian provinces. Now, I don't know if we have the mission to take Radibor. Oh, uh, we have the mission to become Emperor. That's right. I forgot we left off with that, too. So, I know we have Saxony close to voting for us. Um, it might be tough. Even Saxony is having issues right now. I know that's because we annexed, yeah, we annexed um, Magdeburg, so we're taking a hit for that right now. Um, but Bohemia did just become the emperor, I think he's, just, oh, he's not that young. So we'll work on that and see if we can become emperor. We might abandon that mission too, just because the problem that we're running into is even if Saxony votes for us, Bohemia is voting for themselves, plus they have three others voting for them. Um, we might be able to improve with Mainz, um, I think I was trying to do that when we left off. Yeah, so we mostly have improved relations. So what's really hurting us right now, and I'm actually yeah, I'm going to cancel that mission just because I don't think... I think after annexing Magdeburg, we're just going to have issues for a little while trying to become emperor. It's just not going to happen. I'd like to eventually... It will definitely help out with forming Germany in the end. Um, if you can get some of the reforms passed, but I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope right now. So we have to kind of look around, see what we can maybe take. Now Saxony allied on halt. Um, they'd actually take an alliance from us. We're also fabricating a claim on Bohemia. Um, we're improving relations with Saxony. And they are at 100. Um, I think I'm maintaining that just because of the hit from annexing, but... I was also doing that, I think, in the hopes of getting their vote for Emperor. And since that's not going to happen right now, we'll just we'll stop that. We don't really need it. Now, see, Anhalt will take vassalization from us, so we can offer them an alliance. And we have to be careful. I don't want to get too many diplomatic relations. Um, they're still looking for a royal marriage, so that'll be nice. Um... We are at 6 of 4. Maybe we shouldn't have done that, but the other thing we can do, I'm looking at this. Oh, we actually don't need military access from Lunenburg. That can be canceled. And they'd actually take vassalization. Interesting. Uh, this is a good way to play the HRE if you can vassalize and annex, vassalize and annex along, and keep repeating. You know, rinse, wash, repeat. Or wash, rinse, repeat. <laughs> but, uh... If you do that, you can, you know, take over a lot of the territories. Um, easily, by just... 
vassalizing and then annexing. So we'll focus on that a little bit. Uh, I need to get my timer started here real quick. Um, so we'll try and work on that and you know see what territories we can gain using that method and others. Uh, I always just take quarantine because I don't want the chance of it spreading. You take a big hit but it's only on one province. The other thing is we can lower some Oh, I freaked out for a second. We can lower uh, some of our maintenance costs just because we aren't at war right now and bring some more money in. And we can also start planning out what we're going to need for Germany. I, I would hope to form Prussia first, but we might even make the jump right to Germany. Um, now, <laughs> that's probably not going to be possible anytime soon. As you can see, we, not, we need a lot of provinces. So we need Hamburg. Um, we need Rostock. So Hamburg there. I think Rostock's along the coast too. Oh, yep, right here. Ma uh, Mecklenburg. They're supporting the independence of Sweden. They're allied with East Phrygia and Verden. So we actually could go to war with Mecklenburg and try and take some of their provinces. We'll fabricate on Rostock. So we know we need Rostock. go back here. We also need Berlin, which we have. Uh, Braunschweig. Uh, Zaken. Or Zaxen. Uh, Turingen. München. Nuremberg. Hessen. Kern. Uh, Pfalz. Augsburg. Frankfurt. So we need a lot of stuff. We need stuff, you know, through the center of the country. So we kind of have to kind of conquer down make our way through here. Now we're going to try and stay friends with Saxony for as long as possible and either turn on them or vassalize them or as I've been lucky in the past, in two games I've had Saxony, inherited Saxony. Uh, I don't know if that's an event for them or what, but it just seems like, you know, that used to happen. Uh, though it's been a while since I played where I've had that chance to inherit Saxony. So we'll improve with Onhalt. Um, no eight diplomats to send. As soon as the guy, uh, as soon as our one diplomat uh, finishes fabricating a claim on Oberslausitz or Oberlausitz, uh, we can bring him and have him improve relations with Anhalt. The hope is to get them as a vassal before Saxony does, because I'm sure that's what Saxony is going for. Um, so that's kind of the concern there. One other thing we can do is, oh, we already do have this. I was going to say we could do better relations over time, but we already have that. Um, took defensive ideas. Definitely want to go militaristic. Uh, it'll definitely help. Um, just have crazy morale, pretty much. Uh, crazy infantry, or crazy uh, land military, you know, armies. Um, and just take out pretty much anybody else once we get most of these ideas. And these are the Prussian ideas. I can't remember if you switch to the German ideas or not. Could maybe build a barracks. Get our manpower up. We are a little low. Oh no, we're actually... Yeah, we're low. We do have some money, but that would take away pretty much all of it. And we do need to pay off these loans, so we'll take care of that real quick. Hmm. We could offer them military access and get our relations up. We can also improve relations. We'll just do that. I don't know how improved it is right now. That'll actually add 100, because we haven't improved... Oh, no. It'll add... 97 more, um, so that'll help. That'll get us up to, what, roughly 150. And then we'll go from there. Of course, as the years go by, uh, annexing will hurt us less. Um, and we'll get closer to 190. There's things we can do to try and get to 190, like guaranteeing their independence and offering them military access. So we'll see how that goes. Definitely want to focus on conquering Mecklenburg, too.
Let's see, we're for fabricating that claim. It's not much to do right now. I don't want to push anything because we have pretty much pissed off all our neighbors. Uh, we don't have aggressive expansion though. So annexing I don't think will work against us for coalitions. But still I don't want to push anything right now. And also, for example, Brunswick's allied with Saxony. They might be another... I wonder what they would do. I don't know if they'd take vassalization. They would not. The Lunenburg would. So we can actually improve relations with them. They are allied with Saxony as well. So we can kind of form essentially a pocket of power here. So we'll get on hold up and then we'll work on Lunenburg. Um, obviously we're going to have some problems with Austria being right there. Though it's nice to have the Hansa neutered a little bit. Uh, the other problem is Denmark pushed down uh, the Jutland Peninsula. So we might have to go against them at some point. They're actually friendly. England's friendly. We're going to have to find somebody to counteract Austria a little bit. They have expanded a teeny bit, um, you know, through here, through the west. I'm sure Hungary's friends with Austria. Yeah. We might even have to ally France. I don't really want to have to do that, but who are they guaranteeing the independence of? Scotland. Incorporate Savoy into the nation. Yeah. Oh, they're actually allied with Austria. Who are... Who are the enemies of Austria? Bohemia, Denmark, and England. So that's going to be tough because we're enemies with Bohemia. Um, England probably won't help too much in a war with Austria. Denmark, same thing. Might be tough. And as you can see, they're actually bumping up almost against the bottom of Civil... Uh, or no, that's Bavaria. We're actually good. These colors sometimes throw me off. So yeah, there's some space there, uh, but it is within the Empire, so they might get access. I'm sure there's some kind of access deals that would give them access if I declared war on Austria, and we couldn't declare war on, on them directly. We definitely want to go for something more indirect, but we can't even do that. So we'll have to leave Austria alone for now. Memo, Ermland. Oh, these are all look like. Okay, so it looks like we want to expand over into here. Take away some provinces from Poland. Now, they're allied with Denmark and Bohemia. Um, they are leading the personal union with Lithuania. Muscovy rivaled us, which is actually. That was right. I forgot. That's going to be a problem, having them as a rival. Hopefully we outgrow them or they outgrow us. More likely they outgrow us if either of those happen. Uh, this is definitely going to be a problem uh, if we can't get Muscovy to ally with us. Because they'd be a natural enemy. And we are allied to Hungary. So Hungary would probably attack Poland. I should actually look. What would happen if we do... Oh, that's right. Only have two diplomats. <laughs> I'm used to having three. So we could take that. I think it would give us claims on all of those. It would be a Tommy change benefit. Um, make Saxony vote for us. That wouldn't be bad. We get plus one diplomatic reputation. I don't know if I really want to do create a proper fleet yet. Um, we will want to try and control the Baltic as much as possible. Definitely be great to take over Lubeck at some point. I don't know who the Hunts uh, are allied with. Friesland, Riga, and Utrecht. So <clears throat> once we take Mecklenburg, we'll have a good chance of taking uh, the Hansa out quickly. So we'll try and fabricate claims on uh, Vismar as well.
We're getting our relations with on halt up. They're friendly now. All right, we got one claim done. We'll do another claim on Mecklenburg. Hopefully, we don't get caught. Don't want the aggressive expansion right now. We still have one extra relation than what we can have, um, but clearly we kind of want all these things right now. I forgot I have an alliance with Clone too. Huh. Hmm. <clears throat> Don't really need local defensiveness right now. We'll take the military engineer. And he give us fort defense. We also have land force limit modifier, but I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, we are over the force limit. Didn't even realize that. So he actually might pay for himself. 1.2 monthly. He did pay for himself. We still are one over, but that's okay. Not taking as much of a hit now. Wait for this claim to finish. Once it does, we can attack Mecklenburg. Now they're also allied with East Frisia, which is one province minor, and Verdun, same thing, one province minor. Um, I don't know if I'd want to do anything with either of them other than maybe take some money. Might not be bad to get some extra money right now. Um, definitely want to accumulate some wealth and definitely get our manpower up. But we should be able to just run over Mecklenburg, essentially, especially with our allies. And who's still our vassal? We should have a vassal. Teutonic Order is a vassal. Oh, that's it, though. Anhalt might even join. Which would also get their relations up. Now we're only at 37 with improved relations with them, so we're gaining that up, gaining up pretty quickly. Need a hundred more, and we can vassalize them. Hopefully they don't lose interest. I'll actually speed this up a bit. Definitely want this claim to finish. Like I said, there's not much else. We're kind of hemmed in otherwise. Bohemia is allied with Poland, Ansbach, the Palatinate, the Palatinate, and Bar. Um, the big thing is I don't want to necessarily get into a war with Poland and Bohemia at the same time. That could be a little rough. The other thing with having a vassal though is if we dig into war with them we could feed the cores that are the Teutonic Orders back to them which might be a good idea too. Get a stronger vassal. I'm even tempted to almost make them a march, except the problem with that is, is I'm eventually, eventually going to... Actually, I don't know if I need those. I would need them for that mission. If we got the mission, you know, Prussian expansion again, uh, it'd be tough if they're a march. I'd need... I'd take a hit changing them back to a regular vassal. Um, ooh. Mecklenburg's at war with somebody. You know what, we can wait. Oh, they're at war with Austria and France. So what we're actually gonna do, we're gonna stop improving with Ansbach for a minute. We'll let this clean finish while, while we're at war. Um, now Saxony would join us, nobody else would. That's okay. So we'll do take Rostock. Um, we'll declare war. Are Varen and East Phrygia allied with anybody? They'd actually take an alliance with us. Where are they allied? Mecklenburg, Munster, and Galway. So we won't call them as 
Po Belligerent. Well, Verdon. <laughs> They'd also take Vassalization. Uh, Mecklenburg and Oldenburg. So I might actually... I, mm, it'd be tempting, but it's really not going to get me anything. So we'll call in Saxony. We'll take Rostock. And we're actually going to fully annex them. Uh, we'll get unlawful territory. But that's okay. Oh, and their army just moved out. Maybe Saxony will even take out their army for us. We won't have to worry about that. We do have maintenance completely lowered, so we'll raise that back up. Oh, I think ships got attacked. Oh, Saxony voted for us. Nice. That's because we're in a war with them. Become Emperor. It's still going to be tough. Bohemia is getting a lot of votes. That's right. I allied clone because they have a vote. So maybe I can get relations improved with them. We'll take Prussian expansion for now. We'll see how this shakes out after the war. Maybe we can hop in when Bohemia gets into war with somebody. We're actually going to take... Oh, that's a lot of admin. We'll wait a little bit to take our next tech. I want to see how much the coring costs are going to be. I'm not going to give Austria access. I want to see what shakes out with this. I don't mind it. Like, I want Mecklenburg to hurt Austria for a little bit, even though we're fighting a war with them. Oh, crap. Did Saxony's army just get taken out? Oh. Okay, well, we have this occupied, so we're going to go down and attack them. Now we do have the river crossing, which is going to hurt a bit. Uh-oh. hope we don't lose this. Good rolls, good rolls, good rolls. Not good roll. We should win this, though. It's almost over. Oh, nice war score out of that, though. We'll actually move to Verdun. I don't know if we'll trap and squish any armies there. Oh, in the month pass though, so they'll have some morale. But we might be able to hit them here. And I don't think we're going to take a crossing penalty, which will help. Ooh, bad rolls though. Taking a lot of casualties, dang. Just enough men to reinforce the armies. Now Austria might come in here and help. We'll see. They're actually helping us siege this right now. Dang. What am I do? Are we taking attrition at all? We are. So what I'm actually going to do... This should work, if I remember right. I'm going to leave a few units behind. Oh, we'd have to use boats to get there. Brunswick might give us access. No, they won't. Bremen, however, will. So we'll move to East Regia. And we should... Oh no! It switched to Austria. I was afraid of that. So I... Okay, I guess because they have more troops and I switched out. And turned off the siege for me. And France is occupying the other. Alright. Well, at least their army's taken out. And them being occupied should help. With war exhaustion, we can hopefully piece them out. Both of them. Both Verdun and uh, East Regia. That will be the goal. We'll bring our army back. 
I'm actually going to bring it all the way back. There's no reason to actually hold those provinces at all. Now, our leader does have two siege, so what we're going to actually do is move our main army into Rostock. Switch out our reserves. Hopefully the siege will go a little bit faster. Now, I think I might have attached... Yeah, we're actually turn that off. They're going to attach, or rather have them attach. There we go. Actually, that's not even really necessary. <laughs> I don't think they know what to do right now. Keep an eye on these sieges if they finish. This one might. Might want to piece them out real quick. Oh, all right. Let's see if we can piece out East Frisia. Oh. <laughs> Just wanted to check. Oh, we really can't take anything. Oh, definitely don't want to do that. Uh, could do no, can't even do war rep. Oh, uh, we don't have a war score. They just want out white piece. We'll do that. Which of course helps. Now, Veridin's going to take a little bit longer. Once we get uh, Rostock, which is also their capital, and the war goal, uh, this should go way up. It's only at 2%. There we go. Now it's 55. So we'll kind of let that sit and wait um, till Veridin wants to peace out. They might even want to peace out now. No. They do not. So we'll just have to keep an eye. Oh, did they... They pieced out with Austria, so we're actually going to have to go and siege down Verdun. And you know what, we're going to actually cancel our access with Oldenburg. Oh no, we don't have that. That's right, we have it with uh, Bremen. Get a piece deal. Can I take both of these? No. Oh, we actually don't. Wait, did the claim not finish? I thought I was claiming. Okay, so yeah, we do have a claim. Austria also has a claim, so we're going to instantly come into conflict with them there. I really want to break up the love affair between Bohemia and Poland at some point, too. Bohemia is also allied with Ansbach, the, Pal the Palatinate, and Bar. Now, while Bar's over, should be over here, yep. And then <coughs> the Palatinate's, of course, going to be here and here. Um, then Ansbach is here. So, if we could get to war with one of these, that would help. We might, maybe Saxony will even declare war um, if they can take Bamberg. Now, Mainz is taking part of Würzburg. So we'll see how this all shakes out. Hopefully finish the siege quickly. That's the hope. We will have to probably build up a navy after this. Um, just because we do have a lot of coastal provinces and we are getting blockaded pretty badly. <coughs> ah, terrible time. Ooh! Five four four. I like that. Ooh, and our air sucks. Well, hopefully we have our five four four for a while. He is twenty three. I like it. And the air is twenty one, so we won't have it for very long. Who will call? 
Oh, I like this. Call on hauled in. I'll do that. Even though, you know, that'll take them away from another offensive war. They're not very strong, but it'll help boost relations for a little bit. You know what? We can actually... We have two diplomats free, so we'll actually improve relation with them. We can do fort defense or siege ability. Definitely want to do siege ability right now. We're not gang attack. We're definitely sieging up, so... As long as Bohemia or Poland don't get it, you know... Hopefully neither of them get any ideas. Oh, beautiful. Alright, so we finished that. We got 100% on Mecklenburg. Actually, before I want to do this, peace out Verdun separately. Um, what do I want? I can make them a vassal, actually. Do I need Stad? Do I eventually need Stad? Uh, does not look like it. So I'm just going to go for money right now since we're hemorrhaging money. We'll get them to pay war reps. And give us a little cash. Ooh. We'll take all their cash. Like that. Inflation will go up, but definitely could use the money. Um, and then we'll get the war reps. So they'll be pieced out. Beautiful. Now we just have our reckoning with Mecklenburg. So we're gonna full piece we're gonna full annex them. Also take their money. Now we're going to have two unlawful territories. And there's Bohemia right away. <laughs> um, core these. Now it's going to hurt our relations with all our allies for a little bit, which is okay. We do have the better relations over time. We might take Diplo Ideas. I think Diplo Ideas is the one where you can get better relations. Let's look. Diplomatic Ideas. We get foreign embassies, cabinet, uh, war cabinet, I like it. Improve relations. Yep, so right there. Diplomatic reputations up, province war score costs, diplomatic technology costs. And lowered impact on stability from diplomatic actions. So that's what will help if we decide to make any marches. Um, don't think we really do. There's not a lot of diplo ideas I really want. Maybe influence. Um, I don't know if I really need that either. It would be nice. I just don't really see doing the naval or expansion, exploration kind of stuff either. So we'll see how this goes. We could do... What's administrative get us? Ah, that's a lot of mercenaries. And playing as Germany, we're not going to really need uh, mercenaries all that much. Um, it's really not something we're going to use, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, later on in the game. Just because we're going to get a lot of manpower boosts. Oh, and you know what? I'm letting this go a little long. I'm actually going to break this here. Uh, I'm Jabber1008. This is our Brandenburg to Germany playthrough uh, on EU4. And I'll be right back. <laughs>